I know there's a bunch of videos out there um, showing how to flare tubes, but I thought I'd go ahead and make one too. And maybe talk a little bit about the tool I got. So I got this, um, this tool at Advanced Auto Parts, and um, it's made by Autocraft. And the tool is really cheap. <laughs> um, I like the guys over at Advanced Auto Parts, they've been great to me, but uh, this tool, this thing broke as soon as I used it. Uh, and this is the second kit I've had. So it's just low quality tool. But you can make it work. And so I want to show you how to make this thing work and let you know that there is a, a workaround. I found that Eastwood sells um, the same basic part, uh, a little bit different configuration, but it works just fine in here. Uh, and this is, I've flared a number of um, tubes with this and it works really, really well. So let me just show you kind of the the steps that I go through. First we have to take the uh, clamp out and we're going to set this up so that the, the tube is just just a little bit proud of the um, the clamp itself and I'll tighten it down I found that if I don't do all these steps I end up with a bad a bad flare but if I do these everything seems to work great so first I'm going to flatten the, uh, the end of the tube and the clamp clamp by it gives me a nice a nice surface to, to go across and you can see um, Nice flat surface on the uh, on the end of the tube. Take it back out of the clamp for just a second. Um, next thing we have to do is we have to create a bevel on the end of the on the end of the tube. And I found that it works easiest for me just to turn it. I don't have to have a huge bevel, but just enough to knock the burr off. So. Um, just pressing down on the, the tube onto the file and turning it on the file. And you can see that there's now a little, a little surface here that's been beveled. Um, it's nice and clean, nice and smooth. I find it easier than trying to, to do bevels like I've seen a, a lot of guys do. We put it back into the tube. And actually, before I do that, before I forget, a little oil on this bottom of this can. This is just... Um, just penetrating oil. I used PB. Any oil would do, um, but it helps if you lubricate the pipe, the tube, um, before you start the flaring process. So, get it back in, and you'll see that I've got it up a little bit high. There's a gauge built into the flaring um, part that you want to have the top of the tube right at the top of that um, that gauge. And I'm just a little bit high, but it's pretty, pretty close. So, um, let's see if I can't get that a little bit better. That's pretty close. Tighten it down in. It's gotta be tight or it won't, or the, 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 um, the clamp or the press will, uh, we'll just drive the, the tube down through the through this clamp and that won't work so you got to get it pretty tight to do this so the first thing is the uh, oh first thing is <laughs> we need to open up the end of this tube now with the tube open we should be able to slide that into the into the tube And you'll see that the uh, the tool doesn't quite make it down to the top of the uh, clamp. That's good. That's that's the distance we need to move it. Uh, all we have to do is then tighten it down. And 
and there it is. Don't over tighten it, don't do anything. It's, once it's down, it's down. That's all you have to do on this part. We'll loosen this up, pull that piece out, put our clamp back in, and this is going to flare the tube open. And again, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to force it. It's like, there it is, it's done. Once it quits moving, you're done. Take it out of the clamp. And there we have it. A nice, nice flare that's not perfectly even, but when you put the, uh, the ferrule on there, the nut on there, it'll draw it right up against the, uh, the other side of the fitting. That'll work just great.